Hey, so it's like my favorite time of year. Spring is in the air. And you know what that means. It's cleaning time. Woohoo! So today I'm going to be sharing with you my five top cleaning hacks. Some of the things that I use around my house to make the process easier and nicer. So one of the first things on my mind this time of year is clearing out that cooped up smell of winter and bringing in the freshness of spring. And part of how I like to do that, aside from opening windows when it's warm enough to do that, is using a oil called purification. This oil is known for purifying the air. It's a really awesome oil for bringing an uplifting scent into your room. And I just put it in my diffuser and diffuse it in whatever room I'm in at the time. Typically it'll be in my living room. I put it in my bedroom at night. Um, and it just helps everything smell really bright and fresh. I also use this in my car a lot. I have two little kiddos and the smell in our car is not always the greatest. So I'll take this and put it on a cotton ball and I put it in my vent and when I run the air or the heat in my vehicle this gets permeated all throughout the vehicle and it smells really good. Now another thing I sometimes use in my car that is very helpful is peppermint. Peppermint is not particularly like a deodorizer or helping with the the smells in the air however if you're not dealing with smells but you're really wanting to just brighten up a room peppermint is an awesome pick and in the car it also helps with the, the potential for road days because this can help you to feel alert and focused and so while you're driving you're not as likely to be getting drowsy my next tip is in relation to what I like to call life's little catastrophes. I have a five and a three year old and sometimes the crayons and the markers don't stay on the coloring page. How it happens that they got on the door or the wall instead of the book on the table I'll never know, but it's magic. Somehow it just appears there. And when I am faced with a situation like that, my go-to is lemon. Lemon is incredible for its ability to take care of little messes like the pepper, uh, like the marker or the crayons or even roofing tar. Yes, you heard me. My husband is a carpenter and he does roofing as well. Um, and we found out that lemon works with roofing tar when our children somehow managed to get into it. And my husband said, we're not using goop on these children. I do not know what to do. So in walked lemon and lo and behold, it works amazingly well. Use one to five, however many drops you need, drops straight. Do not dilute it when you are using it for cleaning up life's little catastrophes. Now, I will give a, a few little uh, disclaimers in this. First of all, the sooner you do it, uh, you use the lemon after the situation happened, the better off you're going to be. Um, case in point, my husband came home and washed his hands in the bathroom and got paint all over my sink. Well, I didn't think anything about it, washed it up a week or so later, and it didn't come off. So I thought, ooh, one of these days I'm going to need to, like, really scrub at that and get that taken care of. Yeah, well, one of those days was months later. And I finally thought, okay, today is the day I'm getting that off of there. I put the lemon on it, I let it sit for a few minutes, and I went to work. Now, at the same time, about a day before that, my husband had come in again with a different color paint. So I now had blue and like a gray blackish color on my sink. The gray blackish color was from a day ago. It came off nothing doing. Easy peasy. The blue paint, on the other hand, that had been there for months, took quite a bit of elbow grease. So the sooner, the better. The other thing that I will tell you is please spot check this idea. Um, I found out that the permanent marker that was on the wall that I didn't know was there until we moved the table that was blocking it. Um, yeah, that was like six months later that I found that. And the permanent marker was very 
permanently on the wall. So when I went to scrubbing it off, lo and behold, the paint was removed too! So please, when you're using this idea, spot check it in an area that you're not as concerned about and know that it is going to do a good job. This video would not be complete if I did not include my absolute all-time favorite oil. This is the oil that I got started with the comfort with Young Living in the first place, and it has continued to be my favorite because I love the smell of cinnamon. Now, those of you who are part of Young Living, you know which oil I'm talking about now that I just said that. My first ever cleaning cleaning oil was feet. Now, this oil, as I said, smells like cinnamon. It's beautiful. I love it. And I wanted to find a way to use it in my home. So I took Thieves and I took the aforementioned Wonder Oil of Lemon and I put them together in a spray bottle with water and I used them to spray down my cabinets, my, t my counters, my table, um, Anything that I wanted to be able to kind of freshen up um, when I was wiping it down and getting it all clean. Now, obviously, there's no soap involved in this. So if you're wanting something with soap, this would not be your answer. But when I first started, I wasn't thinking as much about the soap side of things as I was the smells and the freshening and... Um, just having something to help clean besides just water. So Thieves and Lemon, that was my starting place until I found out about my next tip. You know I love the Thieves. You just heard about it in the last tip. And when I found out, and really not too long after I got involved in, in the essential oils, I found out that Thieves had its very own product line. Now that's pretty incredible. For one essential oil to have its own product line, pretty cool. So, of course I had to check into it, and lo and behold, they had a Thieves household cleaner. Ta-da! And I love this stuff. Because not only does it have thieves in it, and it makes my house smell fresh and cinnamony, just like I like it, just like I want it, it also has the soap in it. On top of that, you cannot go wrong here. All natural, completely plant-based, no toxins whatsoever in this little baby. This is a gem, and I use it in everything in my household. So how do I use it? Well, the basic main way I use it is I grab myself a um, spray bottle. I bought this off of Amazon and I label it so I know what's in it, of course. And I take my bottle of household cleaner and I take the cap off, fill it, fill the cap and put it in my bottle. Now this is a 12 ounce bottle. You could go as big as a 15 with one cap full. Um, and that's like a heavier dilution or a heavier, um, cleaning ratio. The actual ratio on the bottle for just everyday regular cleaning is 1 to 30 um, parts. So you have 30 parts water or 30 ounces of water and one cap full of the Thieves Cleaner. I personally liked it a little bit stronger because you get, you get the smell more, the cleaning power is there. Um, and so I use one cap full to about 15 ounces of water. So that's what's in this bottle. And I just put it all together and I use it to clean my counters, to wash my mirrors, to wash my windows, to um, spray down my whole bathroom, my floors. I use it on my tile floor in the kitchen. I use it on um, my linoleum floor in the bathroom. Pretty much if it's cleanable, this baby gets used on it. Um, there are some special recipes for things like a hardwood floor um, or like I use the Thieves Cleaner in my steam vac on my carpets. So I'll take, um, I have a gallon size water reservoir and I will put two to three capfuls of the Thieves Household Cleaner in that water reservoir and use that as my soap for steam vacking my carpet. So yes, this bottle gets a workout, but you want to know what's really cool? This bottle I got with one other bottle back in February of last year. 
this bottle is still half full. So I have gone over a year and used a bottle and a half. When you dilute this stuff down, it's like 75 cents a bottle. Now you cannot beat that. It's awesome. Does great work. Completely all natural, non-toxic, and it's easy to pay for. You can't go wrong. Check it out. My last tip is on using the Thieves Household Cleaner in more of a difficult situation. You want some scrubbing power. How do you get the scrubbing power? Well, dun da da da! Baking soda! Whoop! Wrong side! There it is! Baking soda! Simple, easy cheesy. You take an old soap container, Dawn dish soap, and you put, oh, well, depending on your size, I put between a quarter cup and a cup of baking soda in it. I usually try and get the bottles that are like for refilling the smaller bottles. I'll get one of those big ones, and I'll put a cup of the baking soda in, and I'll put two capfuls of the Thieves Cleaner in it, fill it the rest of the way up with water, and you've got yourself an awesome cleaning power machine. Um, I use this to scrub down my showers and from time to time if I have a, a difficult spot to get off I'll use it to scrub that. Um, the cool thing about it when you put it into a, a Dawn dish soap container it has a pre-made sprayer for you because the power of it coming out through the top like the Dawn dish soap has just shoots it right where you want it with the focus beam. It works great. And once again, it's easy cheesy, doesn't take a lot of stuff, it's inexpensive, and it works. So that's my five top cleaning hacks. I hope they helped you. If you have any questions or would like more information about the oils that I mentioned today or the Thieves Household Cleaner, please comment below or go to OurEssentialBlessings.com for more information. I'll post that link down below so that you can easily click it and check it out. Um, if you enjoyed this video and you'd like more tips like these, or you would just like to follow my crazy family life, hit the subscribe button and like the video. Thanks so much. Take care.